The climate emergency is the defining crisis of our time. It exposes inequalities in society, where those who contribute least suffer most from the effects of a deteriorating climate. The climate crisis is a threat multiplier. It exponentially worsens existing issues and complicates efforts to address them. The Philippines lies in the world's most disaster-prone region. The climate emergency exacerbates this and brings about more frequent and extreme sea level rise, extreme weather events, rising temperatures, and heavy rainfall. The climate emergency manifests itself to Filipinos in different ways. For one, discussions in the climate emergency tend to focus on rapid onset events like storm surges, typhoons, and floods. Climate impacts are also more felt in and linked to the livelihood sector. There is also a correlation to increase of rain, drought, loss of crops, and resource scarcity to the seasonal rise in recruitment of rebel groups. And finally, climate impacts cascade on various facets of a person's life, including health, material and immaterial costs to damage shelters, education, and others. But our future changes with every bold step we take to prevent further environmental collapse. The International Organization for Migration, with its Climate Change Adaptation and Community Resilience in the Philippines, or CARP program, works to contribute to the global knowledge base on migration in the context of the climate emergency. The CARP program recently released a report framing the human narrative of migration in the context of climate change a preliminary review of existing evidence in the Philippines. This report assists policymakers and other stakeholders to view migration as an adaptation strategy and develop evidence-based, migrant-centered policies and programs to enhance efforts to respond to the needs of affected populations. The report is underpinned by the importance of language, notably switching from climate change to climate emergency to express the urgency to respond to this crisis and advance bolder action. At the same time, it explores the current state of migration in the context of the climate emergency in the Philippines that impacts four main sectors, including farmers and fisherfolk, women, older persons, and the urban poor. Evidence-based programming for affected populations will ultimately enhance efforts to respond to their immediate needs, while ensuring migration is a tool towards sustainable adaptation and risk mitigation for those affected by climate change. The window of opportunity to take action is short, but it is still open.